Hey guys, it's Lost Sugar Productions here, and today I wanted to show you a lot of customizations uh, for Fire First Troopers that you might be able to do, or might not if you don't have the figures, but uh, Fire First Troopers and 212 Troopers. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's get into this. So on the left here, we have the 2013 Fire First Clone, and on the right, we have the 2020 Fire First Clone. Um, now... They both have their better parts, in my opinion. Um, I think the body is better on the 2013 one, and then the helmet, I think, is better on the 2021. Um, so, there's some customizations that I think you could do. Uh, one would be to switch the helmet. I know this is really simple, but switch it like that. So, if you like that, um, that looks really good. Uh, and... Yeah, um, but there's another way uh, you can do it by, by switching, uh, taking off these blue arms and putting them on the other, on this guy right here. And I'll do that. Uh, another right option for you, um, just putting blue arms on the uh, regular foul first clone. So that just looks really good. Um, and yeah, guys, mostly this video is just to show you like some different customization options that you could do. Um, and, you know, you might have not have these parts, or they might just be common sense. You know, a lot of the things that just switch the helmet or whatever. But, uh, just one, I figured I'd make a video on this, so, just because. Um, so, yeah, that's another one. Um, but overall, my favorite, I have to say, has got to be, um, it's got to be this. Because, um... I really like the black hip piece, um, and I know a lot of people don't, but, uh, well, actually, I think either that or this, because this looks really clean as well, um, but yeah, it's really up to you what you want to do with it, and, uh, yeah, uh, so that's for the Fire First Clones, now let's go to the 212. So here we go on to the 212th Trooper, and I'm going to start off with the Phase 2 regular right here, <laughs> and I find... I tried this, uh, just the other day, and you know, it never occurred to me. I mean, it's probably just, I mean, it is just common sense to switch a helmet, but I am, it's insane how good that looks. And I'm going to say to Lego right now, they can, I mean, they're obviously not going to watch this video, but they, this summer, if they want to make another clone uh, battle pack, which I don't think they probably would, like a like a forty dollar one, like the power first one, um, this would be a really good idea, a two twelve, because they could just use this helmet. They don't have to; they just have to put more in production. And then um, the old uh, twenty fourteen clone legs, uh, two twelve legs and body, um, and then just orange arms and uh, new new uh, well, uh, yeah, that face. Um, because it's way more accurate uh, than the angry clone face. But this just looks so much better um, than this, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. Um, but, yeah. Um, in my opinion, this just looks way better. And, um, yeah. I think it just looks really good. And I also had an, uh, another customization that I think look, makes it look even Like, better. this looks great. Like, um... This is Captain Rex's, uh, uh, piece, you know, the, uh, plastic piece that go, his, his waist cape. Um, it looks really good. Um, I really like it. it. He looks, it's like a, it's not, obviously not Cody, but it's like a, it could be any, like, uh, 212, like, commander or something, or captain. It just looks really good. And, uh, yeah, it looks way better than just a standard 212th trooper. Um, so yeah, that's for the 212th, and we'll go into the Airborne. I just want to qu kick, quickly mention as well, um, this 501st Arc Trooper I just made by taking the 2011 Clone Battle Pack, uh, helmet, and then I put just whatever head on, because it doesn't really matter, because you can't see, and then a 501st body, uh, torso, and then just white legs, and, you know, it doesn't have to be detailed legs, because they're going to be sitting down in an ATRT. Uh, I think you, I've put this in my mock videos and stuff, um, but yeah, this is just another custom figure, uh, to show you that, you know, you don't have to say what, do always what the sets do, like, sometimes they look better, like, honestly, like, 
I mean, don't you think this looks way better than the standard 212 clone? Um, but yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll show you the Airborne Trooper now. So this is just a pr pretty simple customization. This is from the General Grievous Starfighter, and, uh, it used to have a white arm, but I just put a orange one on, and, uh, so yeah, I just changed the one of the arms to the, to orange, and, uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, I made a couple Skywalker Saga videos, uh, on my channel, and if you haven't checked those out, uh, please do. One of them is almost a thousand views, which is insane, um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and this was just to show some customizations for clones, um, you know, uh, some customizations for your clones. Uh, and if you don't have any of these parts or whatever, um, that's okay too. It's a fun video to watch anyway. Um, and yeah, uh, that is pretty much all for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.